So firstly, a bit about myself. I am an honest runner from Dublin, Ireland. I have run eight marathons in total and numerous half marathons. Uh, I review runners on a weekly basis and I also review other running tech. And today, I'm reviewing the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. Okay, so first off, the upper. So it's a breathable mesh upper, a synthetic mesh upper. Um, it's supposed to be translucent too, but uh, I don't know about you, but I can't, I don't think that's translucent. Anyway, um, definitely it's breathable though, uh, and it is synthetic, so there we go. But no, it's, it's a very lightweight upper. Uh, has a great lockdown feel. Uh, when your foot is in it, I think it's, it's perfect. It doesn't feel intrusive. Uh, you know, feels comfortable and it's exactly what you want for this type of shoe. Getting on to price point. Is this a cheap shoe? No. Uh, it's quite expensive. So, you're looking at in Euro 180. Yeah, so it definitely is on the dear side of things in terms of, you know, daily running shoes. But with that being said, it's a great purchase. I mean, if you're looking for a shoe that gives, you know, great energy return, gives you great looks, and, you know, is, is very reliable in terms of your daily training, then absolutely go for this. Uh, it's a top-notch shoe. So this shoe is designed for speed. It's an awesome shoe in every respect. Uh, from the build quality, you know, to the upper, uh, to the midsole, everything is as it should be. And yes, it's expensive, but it's definitely worth the price. Uh, will I go and get this again? Yeah, sure. I mean, I put in at least 600 miles into this already, and actually it's showing no sign of wear and tear, which is great. I mean, to get a shoe of that quality, to last you for that long, it's perfect. And you know, Nike are obviously on the right track. Uh, in terms of these shoes. Looking forward to the third iteration of this, um, but really, I don't think there's much to improve upon from this. But is it worth the moolah? Yeah. Hands down, for me it is. Now, luckily, I actually exchanged the Pegasus 36 for this shoe, so I got this shoe from, you know, 90 euro, uh, where originally it's 180 in the shops. Um, and so I got lucky. Uh, and the reason I, I suppose, exchanged the, the Pegasus 36 for this is because I didn't feel the Pegasus 36 was a great shoe. It was a fine shoe, uh, but it wasn't a great shoe and I heard only good things about this, that's why I bought it. Uh, so yeah. In terms of, I suppose, wearing it around casually, would I? Do I? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice shoe. This whole... Uh, groove here at the end and uh, isn't that aesthetically pleasing but at the same time you know it does it's not too uh, too awful to look at but no it's it's you know it's a shoe that you could wear around town would I do I no 
built. Um, I put the shoes for that purpose and to be honest, I prefer to leave this just as a, you know, a daily running shoe. However, with that being said, it's still a, you know, it's still a, a great option to have. There is one issue with this though, uh, that, uh, that does annoy me from time to time and that's the heel slippage. So, I never feel that there's a full lockdown on the shoe. You know, no matter how tight I, I, I tie the laces, I always feel that sometimes when you're three miles in, four miles in, you can definitely feel your heel slightly slipping. That's not a good thing. And I, it shouldn't be, you know, it, it shouldn't be a thing in shoes of these, you know, of this quality. The tongue isn't, isn't exactly great. Uh, you know, it's the same kind of mesh upper uh, material that's used in the tongue and I feel that it, it kind of bundles when you put your foot in but you know after three miles you forget about it and that's grand I mean it's not an issue but yeah all in all great shoe well worth the money and uh, yeah nice one Nike you really you crushed it with this one